What's going on everybody, Jeans here, back again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're having some fun with it. We're using an Inteleon team that doesn't feature the same old meta with Urshifu, Dragonite, Shen Pao. We're gonna have a little bit of fun with it. Like I said, Inteleon team, also Ursaluna, Regilecki, Fluttermane, Sableye, and Amoongus should be a fun team, yet it should still be pretty strong on the rank ladder to grab you guys some wins. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my rank videos go live. But Inteleon is one of the only starters in Regulation D that I haven't showcased yet, so I'm super excited to be using them with the Scope Lens and Sniper. Its moveset consists of Ice Beam, Snipe Shot, Terror Blast, and Protect with the Grass Terror type. Cannot wait to get rocking with this Pokemon. Hopefully we can do some big time plays with it and give it the MVP crown for today's video. Ursaluna is going to be in our second slot. Everybody knows Ursaluna is insanely strong, especially within Trick Room. He has Guts, he has Flame Orb like normal, Rock and Drain Punch, Headlong Rush, Facade, and Protect for its moveset. Third Pokemon is going to be Fluttermane. Fluttermane is still a top tier Pokemon within Regulation D, so you're going to be seeing it on a lot of the teams that we use. It has Protosynthesis alongside with Booster Energy, Dazzle Gleam, Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Life or Regilecki. This thing can hit like an absolute truck, so we're going to hope to get some big time damage off of this thing. It's got Transistor, Life Orb as item like we already mentioned, Thunder Cage, Terror Blast, E-Web, and Protect with the Ice Terror type. Fifth Pokemon is going to be our first out of two support Pokemon. It is going to be Sableye. Sableye is good for fake outs, it is good for skill swapping and giving a prankster to other Pokemon, and more, prefer more preferably giving a prankster to Amoongus. We can actually go into Amoongus and Sableye, skill swap out, and give Amoongus prankster, making him spore in one turn, which is kind of ridiculous. It is kind of ridiculous, but it's going to be a tough thing to pull off. We might not even try it in today's video, but Sableye is the focus dash, taunt, fit, eek out. Foul play and skill swap for its four moves. Final Pokemon is the Moongus. Everything is pretty standard with this guy with Regenerator, Citrus Berry, Palm Puff, Spore, Rage Powder, and Protect. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Regulation D Inteleon team. First match on its way on the rank ladder, going up against a Regilecki and Reggie Draco team. So best of both worlds, they got both of the Reggies for Regulation D. They also have King Gambit, they got Armourouge, Fluttermane, and Golden Go. How should I play this one? Who should I go into? Regilecki's not bad, but mine's not maxed out on speed, which kind of hurts the soul a little bit, right? It definitely hurts the soul, just a tad bit, just a tad bit. Um, I think Fluttermane is going to be a solid lead. I mean, I maybe they got two Steel types. Two Steel types really hurts the soul. I could go into Ursaluna considering it's part ground. And ground's gonna be super effective on the four of these guys. So, I mean, Ursaluna's not bad lead. It's not a bad Pokemon to bring in here. Has Headlong Rush. I like its moveset. Um, the only problem is uh, Trick Room is an issue. We don't have Trick Room. I could go into Fake Out. I could trigger Guts that way. I could just go into Headlong Rushes. Um, could Rage Powder and just get work done with him. I, I can get down with that. I could always protect its Spore and then keep going and then go into Inteleon and Regilecki. Back end Pokemon could really come in clutch for us. So you know what? We're going to give that a try. We're going to give that a try. I just really like the ground typing. Ursaluna, I don't really like it that much here, but I love the ground typing up against a lot of these Pokemon. Right? It just seems very, very good. Do they have anything that's going to be super effective on me? Not really either, right? It's neutral on a lot of these typings here. And then again, like like I said on top of that, ground is just going to be super effective on most of the team, so I can absolutely rip through. And this is a time where I wish I had EQ, but I don't have EQ, so I would love to just start double hitting Pokemon left and right. But well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. It's the first match. We're looking for a big time dub here. We do got the fully Inteleon in the back end. Let's get off some big time damage. But he's going to go into Golden Go and Fluttermane. And I mean, from here, I could just could just Spore and Headlong Rush. And this one I'm thinking of doing is just going headlong rush to take you out and just spawn the flutter main slot. Right? I mean, we don't need guts if he's not going to terrestrialize the golden go. And yeah, I think it's fine. I think that's a fine turn. I could have protected Ursaluna's spore first, but I don't mind this. I'm going to see a Terra come out here from Golden Go? Steel, Golden Go? Just stay steel. What is this? What? What? It, yo, what is this? Get this on out of here. Get this on out my face, please. Get this on out my face. You're going to trick me into a choice specs. That's that's wild right there. That's blasphemy. 
That is blasphemy right there. That that is just that's just absurd. That is absurd. That is just absurd right there. And you guys know it. That is absurd and you guys know it. <laughs> A flying terror golden go works out perfectly here. It works out perfectly. So from here, I'm forced to swap. I have the choice scarf, which is kind of funny. I have the choice scarf with Amoongus, and I'm forced to swap. So from here, I'm just going to go into a facade. I am going to get rid of you. Actually, I'm going to headlong rush and just get rid of you. I don't really care too much for... Actually, no. You know what? We're going to facade, get rid of... Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of you, and I'm gonna hard swap. I, I think saving him for later, and we'll go on the Regilecki here. I'm cool with this. I mean, a Make It Rain could come out here, which would be tough news. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping I can get Regilecki for a turn here. So Fluttermane's gonna be asleep. That's why I was just gonna headlong rush it, but I think we're kind of fine. The Make It Rain does pop out here. Can you eat this up, Reggie? Cool. That is just ridiculous. Flying Terror, I'm still not over it. Facade now pops out here. We are going to get rid of you. Ursaluna getting off some big time damage. Okay. Oh my lord, that hurts. That just hurts. That just hurts. So chances are Reggie's going to be fastest on the field, right? Unless they bring out their own Reggie like you. I wouldn't be surprised at it. I simply would not be surprised at it. And I feel as I have to go after that Fluttermane, right? Fluttermane's got to go. We have Intellion in the back end. And Reggie Draco's going to fly here. The Reggie Draco is now out here. Um, I love the facade. It could terrible ass too. That thing is bulky. You know, we're just gonna go headlong rush into this slot, and I'm gonna hope that's sleep. I'm gonna translate, and I'm gonna go into the ice move into this thing. I'm icing it down. I'm icing it down. I gotta ice it down. I feel as we have to get off as much damage as we can. I mean. Reggie Draco is super, super bulky, which is kind of annoying, but I'm going to hope Fluttermane's going to be asleep for this turn. Because I, I think it's going for a Dragon Energy, and we can really neglect a lot of the damage with this. But he just straight up protects. So again, we're really hoping this thing's asleep now. Please be asleep, Fluttermane. Please be asleep. Let me headlong rush Guts Ursalunia. Be asleep. Oh, dude, this game. Real rough. Real rough. Gleam's going to fly air. Can you eat that? Ursaluna eats. Regilecki dies. Tough. That's so tough. It's just tough news. It's just real tough for us out here. It's brutal out here for us. Olivia Rodrigo said it best. It's brutal out here. Headlong rush gonna fly here. We're gonna get rid of Fluttermane, but still, like, the 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 one turn sleep. Come on, I'll I'll never get it. You'll never see me get a one turn sleep on this channel. Never. Not once. Not once. But we still have Intellion, which is, eh, gonna be okay here. I mean, Reggie Draco. Oh wait, we still have a Moongus as well. Still got the fungus. I still feel as Italian has to come out here. We have to go Italian. I could protect it and try to get off some damage with Ursuline, but chances are Dragon Energy is flying from that thing, right? So he goes to his, into his final Pokemon. I am choice, and that's just tough. That's just tough. That's just tough. That kind of that kind of destroys me, right? That kind of destroys me. <laughs> I'm just gonna protect. Um, e Web's scary, man. E-Web is real scary. I'm going to protect my boy Inteleon. I wish I had Terra at this point, but I don't. But the job, the double Reggie is going to do me dirty. Yeah, E-Web will take me out all day. This won't affect me. Can you maybe miss whatever you're going for? He's probably going for Dragon Energy. Yeah. See you later, Ursaluna. Tough, tough one here. Is there any way of me winning this, right? Inteleon's not soaking up an E-Web from Regilecki. There's just no chance for that. That's the only way. That, that is legit the only way. And it's still at that point, we don't win this match. Um, Double Protect Spore. I think that's our, that's our best bet. It's a Double Protect Spore. So, Intellion, yeah, we're going to try to protect it. Come on, Intellion, give me a Protect here. Give me a Protect here. Ooh, okay. Okay, getting things started here. A little bit Double Protect action. E-Web's going to come out here. And we, we might die this dragon energy, too. I don't know. Can you eat this up, Amoongus? That would be lovely. 
will be a lovely sight for you to set this up. You don't soak that up. Alright, let's figure this out. So now we have no, we don't even have we don't even have Reg like you sleep. Yeah, this one's over. <laughs> this one's over. We we tried pulling something out of us. Did not work. Ended up losing this one. Tough first match. Gonna be tough to grab a win with this team. But we'll definitely use Italia on more in match number two and look to grab ourselves for first win. Second match on its way, and this is pretty cool. I have not used Inteleon or seen Inteleon on the rank ladder, and now we're going up against an Inteleon team. So Inteleon versus Inteleon, they also have his Sui and Decidueye, who looks amazing. And then they got Armor Rouge, Rillaboom, Grimmsnarl, and Illusion Zora, which is probably going to get me again. It gets me every single time. So how should I play this one? Who should I go into? Sableye's not too bad here. I mean, I kind of like it for the fake out. The foul play's not bad, but screens... Always a problem. I could lead Ursa Luna trying to get Guts rolling again, but I feel as maybe Inteleon is going to be a solid. So I'm going to go Inteleon. I am also going to go... I could go you. I could go Fluttermane. I like that. I like Fluttermane. I'll go Fluttermane. I'll go Reggie in the back end and then Amoongus for a bit more support. And then we got Pollen Puff. We got Spores. I'm down with that. I'm definitely down with that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Because Zoro could definitely be a lead here. Same thing with Rillaboom. I mean, I could throw a Shadow Ball in that slot. I could Terrasilize Fluttermane. And plus, Fluttermane will not take a fake out. So, really, really big for us. Really, really big. So, we'll see who they want to lead. We're 0-1 right now. Did not even get to use Inteleon on that last match. It's kind of just there. They have leading these two. So, um, I could Terrasilize Inteleon. I mean, chances are they fake out my Inteleon, right? Chances are they figure out Inteleon all day here. So, I mean, there's no point of us terrestrializing. I mean, I could terrestrialize and go into, like, a grass move or, or just an ice move. But I feel as from here, we gotta just protect. I mean, chances are fake outs coming in that slot. And then I can go for a Shadow Ball and the Arm Rouge. If they choose not to Terra, but we'll see. They do choose not to Terra. So, we protect Inteleon. Go ahead, go try to fake me out. Fake me out. No, Rillaboom's just protecting. Okay. So Rillaboom goes for the protect here. Shadow Ball's gonna fly, and this should just KO, right? This thing's sashed. Of course it's sashed. So it's Trick Room popping out here. Now that's weird that they went for Trick Room, but they did not fake out until you. Okay, so now we're sitting in a bit of a weird spot, right? Hmm. I mean, I do have a Moongus, which is great. I could swap Fluttermane for a Moongus. Maybe just terrestrialize Inteleon. And I think that's going to be my play. I'm going to swap Fluttermane. I'll save Fluttermane for later. Now I got a Moongus here. And I'm going to terrestrialize my Inteleon. So Inteleon's going to get some work done here. And he's going to start cooking here. So I know I'm going into Grass Slaving, but I might Protect or even Rage Powder next turn. We have a lot of different options here. So I'm terrestrializing straight Grass. I'm not dying to no Wood Hammer, right? Just not happening, and we might see like an expanded force or even an armor cannon come into the Fluttermane slot, which that would be tough. That'd be brutal. But I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling fine. I know they got tricked him up. I can waste some turns out here. Expanded force does come out here, and you go into Inteleon. You want some big time damage. And you go for it. Now that's weird that you went that way with that. That's weird. That's weird, right? That's definitely a little weird. Definitely a little weird. But I'll, I'll take that. I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. I can Rage Powder. I could Rage Powder. I might just protect Inteleon here. So Ice Beam's gonna fly here. Inteleon doing some big time damage. We love it. We love it. That wasn't even critting. That was just that's just high power attack there. Okay. So I'm here. I like I said, I could Rage Powder. I think I'm just gonna protect. I think I just protect you and maybe just go for a Palm Puff to finish off Rillaboom, right? I think it's good. I think it's a solid play. But expanding Force might just KO my Amoongus. I'm just kind of hoping he's going after Inteleon here. And actually, Amoongus goes first, which is dope. I get rid of Rillaboom. You're going. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. Did we get rid of you. Go for my Inteleon. That'd be cool. And nah, he's just going to take out Amoongus. Amoongus is gone goner here, correct? No, it soaks. It's bulking. It's bulking. Expanding Force is always... It's always strong, but it's always... Not as strong as you think it is when the Psychic Terrain's not out there. 
So I get my Citrus Berry HP, I get my Grassy Terrain HP. Um, I could Spore Armors if I want to. I could. I could Spore Armors. Let's see who they throw out. They're gonna throw out Inteleon of their own. I mean, that thing's gotta be slower, right? And I'm thinking of just doing this. I, I'm th yeah, I'm definitely gonna Spore that Armors. We're wasting out Trick Returns all day. Because if I can waste out a few Trick Returns, I got a good, good set of Pokemon in the back end. So I'm cool with this. So we're just gonna Spore Armors. I know it's low HP. I'd rather just do that and hope that Inteleon can get off a turn. My Inteleon, at least. Well, armor is going to be sleep. Chances are their Inteleon slower than mine. And it is going to go for an Ice Beam, so that's fine. You might eat that. No, you don't. I should have known. Inteleon's hitting like a truck. But that's that's chilling, because now I come out here, I drop a big-time Terra Blast here. Probably KO, and considering it's in a grass terrain, we're doing some big-time damage. My Inteleon came to play. Getting rid of your Inteleon. So now, now this is where I wish I brought my Ursaloon. I can't believe I didn't bring Ursaloon. Seeing Armors out here, like, come on, Jeans, you're better than that. You're better than that. But from here, I can just go into. F Do I go into Flutter Beam? We go into Flutter, Flutter. Chances are he's asleep, right? Chances are he's asleep. So I'm just gonna go into my Flutter Beam. Um, I'm gonna go into Flutter Beam, and we're hoping for the n the no one times one turn sleeps. And the Sage Awake comes out. That's fine. That's cool with me. That's cool with me. So I'm gonna go for. Bum, 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 bum. I guess I'll go for the Snipe Shot in this slot. And I'll go for the Gleam across the board. Actually, maybe I should have just double protect. I actually should have just double protected. I don't know what I'm doing. Bad play by me. Real bad play. If I double protect there, that's big time because I think there's only one more turn left in Shark Room. Would have been huge for me. He's going to throw out slides to Hisui Decidueye, who's so cool. So cool. I wish I would have snipe shot that slot. He's going to go into Rock. A little bit of Rock Terra action. Can never go wrong with the Rock Terra. Leaf Blade's now going to fly here. It does KO me. It does KO me. So what I'm hoping here is Armour doesn't wake up, right? Correct? Two turn sleeps? Thank you. Thank you. That pretty much just won us the game. Cool. So Trick Room should be ending rather soon. It either ends this turn. If not, I'll just Protect. And then I can just snipe shot down. It's an easy life out here in match number two. Match number two, I always seem to have. I don't know why, but Inteleon's killing it in this match. KO'd the armors, KO'd the Rillaboom, I believe. And what was the third Pokemon that they had? I kind of forget. But Inteleon probably KO'd that. This thing is just tearing through Pokemon left and right. Oh, KO'd the Inteleon. <laughs> like, this thing is just ripping up. But I believe Trick Room is gone. Yes, sir. And now I can just go into Snipe Shot. Snipe Shot will probably finish that off. And I'll just go for a Thunder Cage. So let's see what they do. They just cancel battle. We're one and one. Inteleon killing it here in match number two. Let's go hop to our third. Look for that winning record. Let's do it. Let's get after it. Third and final match on its way. Looking for a winning record with this off meta ish team. I told you guys in the beginning it was going to be hard to win some matches with this team. We already got one. So hopefully we can beat this meta team. But I know it's going to be tough. They got Tornadus. They got Earthfoot, Rillaboom, Heatran, Landorus, and Fluttermane. Hmm. Regilecki's gonna be great. Uh, I like a good old Regilecki here. And do I also lead it with a Fluttermane? I mean, that's not a bad idea. I wish I did have Trick Room here. Because if I had Trick Room, Ursaluna would be a god. Would be a godsend from the heavens. But, yeah, I'm thinking just going Fluttermane, Inteleon, and maybe we'll just go in all attack power. Do I need some support with Amoongus? Looking at it, maybe? I mean... Urshifu can one-shot pretty much all my Pokemon, so I I kind of need this. I kind of need that. We need that. Yeah, we need that. We need that for sure. Because if I go into Ursaluna and we have no way of taking out Urshifu, well, it's game, set, match. I guess they can just tear it through. Regilecki's not surviving two Surge Strikes, let alone three. Ursaluna's super effective up against it, so he's going her. Fluttermane can't survive it, and Italian's a glass cannon too. It hits hard, but it can't really take a shot. So we'll see how we play this one. He goes Heatran alongside with Flutter Flutter. I also go into my Flutter Flutter, which kind of hurts soul. I don't like it. I don't like it, man. Um, Maybe I hard swap into Amoongus. He's going to boost your energy up. I'm boosting your energy up. Um, hmm. I'm going to go for an E-Web. I'm just going to protect. See what they do. Is that their Fluttermane? I heard soul. I'm protecting my Fluttermane too. 
So the double flutter main protect. Can you please go for a flash cannon into my flutter main? That'd be cool. That'd be real cool. We would like that. The so E-Web's gonna fly here. We're gonna slow down Heatran a little bit, do some damage onto it. Uh, can you go into flash cannon, please, and thank you? That'd be real nice. You do. Cool. The flash cannon is popping. Um, did we look to double down the Heatran here? I gotta see if my flutter means max speed, like full blown EVs into it, and it's it is, it is, but it's nature's not there. Oh. And actually, its booster energy goes towards special attack. So you know what? Now is gonna be the time to terrestrialize. I'm gonna terrestrialize, and I'm just gonna e web. Actually, I'm gonna thunder cage. I'm doing. I'm, I'm double down the heat chain. Actually, no, I'm e-webbing. I need to slow down for next turn. So I'm gonna e-web, I am gonna terrestrialize, and I'm gonna Shadow Ball into Heatran. I doubt Heatran protects, right? Very doubtful. Very doubtful. So we gotta look to get rid of Heatran here. Um, hmm. And I'm terrestrializing, so their Flutter main doesn't outspeed me with the booster energy and just KO me, because it's gonna be faster. It might not be faster than Regilecki, but we'll see. It is, see? So this is exactly why we Thrasslides. 100% why we Thrasslides. So we would not die to that. E-Web now flies, and now we're really hoping this Shadow Ball can KO. Because if this Shadow Ball can KO, this makes my Regilecki faster than Flutter Mane, and I can go into a Thunder Cage. Come on, Flutter Mane. I Thrasslides you for a reason. Add a girl. Add a girl! We love you, Flutter Mane. So solid plays from us so far. Um... Urshfu can come out here. I mean, is a little scary, but I feel as in, at this point, we have two studs out on the field. So they're just going to go in tor Tornadus. Oh, oh, that's one ugly Tornadus. Uh, so I think it's going to get off Tailwind regardless. I say we just do this and we go into Shadow Ball here. Or maybe we just Gleam. I say we Gleam. I mean, we're Terrored Fairied already. So we'll see what they're going to do. So they're going to Thrasilize themselves. Probably in the Straight Fairy, correct? And that could be scary because if they gleam me, ooh, this could be this could be an issue. This could be an issue. Let's see how some plays tailwind definitely. Yep. Can one of you guys eat this, please and thank you? Oh, you're actually just going for mystical fire. That's I'm I'm cool with that. I'm very cool with that. I miss my thunder. Did I just miss my thunder cage, Reggie? I needed you there. I needed you there. And I just missed my Thunder Cage? 90 accuracy and I'm missing Thunder Cages like that? That's real ugly. That's real ugly. Um, I mean, how many turns left in Tailwind now? It's uh, three? I mean, we can double protect the turn here. That's exactly what I'll do. I'll double protect the turn. Just start wasting them out a little bit. Because if I can say I double protect this turn... Then we'll eat up next turn, say if my Pokemon die, I can double protect the next turn when my back and Pokemon come out here. And waste out the last turn of Tailwind. So, this one's gonna be a close one. Rain Dance, what are you dancing in the rain for? Setting up for Urshi, setting up for Urshi. So Urshifu is definitely the back of Pokemon. We still have a Moongus for that, which is lovely. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't like this. Not one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. And I'll go for the E-Web. I'll go for the Gleam, but this is just not look good because of Bleak Wind Storm and Dazzle Gleam. And probably just Dazzle Gleam is going to count both my Pokemon, right? Thanks, Reggie. Missing my Thunder Cage, man. If I did not miss that Thunder Cage, we would have been sitting a little bit better here. But now it's up to Inteleon and... And Amoongus, which is not bad. But kind of bad, right? Not bad, but kind of bad. Yeah, because we're probably dying to that. Uh, we're probably dying to that. Ah, oh, to the bleak wind storms and all that. Yeah, this is tough. I mean, I do have citrus berry. How do I play it? So I try to spore the flutter me down. That's where I wish I had terror for my Amoongus. Because Italian's not. It's just not eating up that. Let me see your special defense. I just don't think it's eating up a, a dash of Gleam from Fluttermane. It's not. It's just not. It's not doing it. It's special defense is way too low. It's just, it's simply not. It's not. I don't believe it will. I don't believe it will. So I want to go for Protect and I want to go for a Spore here. I 
It's gonna be my play. Maybe maybe Amoongus can eat up these shots, but I don't think he can. This team's tough. Shadow Ball. You, you really doubling down on me like that? I could have just attacked my Italian. What you're telling me? Liquid Storm. Mm, that's gonna KO. It didn't even trigger Citrus Berry. Can you eat this up, Moongi? Hold up. We got a game. We have a game. We have a game. So we get off the big time sport. Um, now would be the time to just. We gotta hope two turn sleeps come out here for Fluttermane, correct? We know it's gonna be sleep this turn. I'm gonna snipe shot you and finish you off. And I'm just gonna protect you because I don't want. I don't want that Tornado's out speed and just kill him, right? So I'm gonna do that. We'll see what he wants to go for. Is he gonna tail one set up? He is gonna tail one set up. Wow, so I could've I could have just I could have just attacked, man. I'm surprised that thing didn't attack, right? I mean snipe shots coming in hot here. We're getting rid of you. It's a good match. It's a really good match. And I feel as Huh. This gotta be our street, correct? Yeah, we we see we seen that from 85 miles away. So, rain ends in a turn. I'm gonna get rid of Flutter Main. I'm gonna turn this into a one v one. I mean, I could spore you, but I feel as he goes after Moose. I got I got a Rage Powder shot. I got a Rage Powder shot. It's a must. It's a must. He ends up detecting. Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. You gotta be asleep, Fluttermane. You gotta be asleep here, Fluttermane. No, not the one turn sleeps. That's fine. We're able to soak that. Thank you, Rain. But the one turn sleep almost did Yo, we actually have a hot chance of winning this battle. We have a hot shot at winning this battle. So Rain's gone. Um, Inteleon's not doing a lot of damage. That's the problem. That is the problem. Um, I do got a rage powder. I go. We gotta hope for crits. I don't think we're KOing this thing. I'll rage powder. This is a mm, Inteleon. Come on. If I had Terra Man, oh, this would've been beautiful. But certain strikes gonna fly here. That's KOing me. Can we get a crit here? I mean, I got sniper. I got the scope ones. I can do some. I can maybe do half with two crits. Let's see. Rain's gone though. That actually helps us out as well. But out comes that. Was that not a crit? It was not a crit. Like I said, I think I need to do two crits. We can't protect, so we're going to go for snipe shots here. You can go for certain strikes. And Italian's able to eat this one. I don't think he can eat another one. Yeah, no shots eating another one. No shots eating another one. So I think we're going to get a crit here, and I think we needed a crit in the last one. Let's see. <coughs> so snipe shot comes out here. My man, give him the MVP crown. Inteleon, crown him up. Like I said, yo, crits are nasty. It has a sniper ability, giving it a 30% increase in crit damage. That was awesome. 2 and 1, grab yourself a winning record. Somebody go find the MVP crown and put it on Inteleon's head this instant. This Pokemon was so much fun to use today. I was not expecting to grab ourselves a 2 and 1 winning record, especially in that third and final battle when we went up against a heavy meta team. But Inteleon I clutched it up, came in with that crit with the scope ones and the sniper. It's awesome. It definitely is awesome. But uh, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.